What's up everybody, Treasure Hog back again, finally, long anticipated pork rind video. So here I am in my little garage setup to make you guys some beautiful, amazing roses, razor rind, pork rinds, fresh from scratch. So uh, what I've got here in front of me are the kind of seasonings that I typically use. What some of you guys that have tried these, this is what you had. I do have a few other flavors, but we'll just go over some of these. This is the Bad Byron's Butt Rub. It's a spicy, when I say spicy, it's more of a peppery blend. Barbecue rub, it's a play on words for the pork shoulder cut, which is what you make a pulled pork out of, and that's called the pork butt. So this is butt rub. Everything's better with a little butt rub, I think is what it says. A little butt rub makes everything better, that's what it is. This is an Arkansas, Arkansas uh, company, real good stuff. I also love sriracha, I'm a sriracha fanatic, so I found some dried sriracha, and I put that on for some extra spicy ones. Good old Hidden Valley Ranch. Just basic, basic plain sea salt, which I have not, these, when I did the plain ones at the coin show, um, they were not seasoned at all, but I do put a little sea salt on some of them. And then what I was calling uh, the cinnamon sugar, uh, or the, the cinnamon toast crunch, it's just a, a cinnamon and sugar substitute stevia, so it keeps it keto friendly. So that's what's inside here, it's just a good old blend, 50-50 of sugar, or, uh, stevia and cinnamon. Now here, is a little bag of gold. So these are what is called pork rind pellets. This is the unfried, dried pork skins, okay? Um, you'll see here in a second the amazement of how they cook and what they end up looking like. So um, it's pretty pretty impressive. Um, but pretty basic setup. I just use my big king cooker here, which I use for uh, uh, frying as well as boiling water for like crab boils, shrimp boils, things like that. Um, you want to keep it right about 350. I'm just using a basic uh, frying oil. You can use peanut oil, soybean oil, things like that. But um, you know, as long as your smoke point is uh, at least 350 or higher, then you don't want to go higher than that anyway to cook them because they'll cook too fast and then they won't fully develop. And you'll see that here in a second. Uh, I am wearing my jaw ready for this tank top for Shark Week. My lovely bride, Mrs. Treasure Hug, got for me. She was on vacation, but I have to wear my vintage Razorback apron. My mother found who knows where and gave it to me. But she knows I collect everything Razorback. So I'm gonna apron up, safety first. And I don't want to get grease on my brand new tank top. Put a couple gloves on. Now what I'll be doing is showing you guys just how these are and how cool they are and how they look and whatnot. But what I'm allowing people to do, and there will be a description down at the bottom uh, and what I'm looking for, but I need some help with um, my research and development basically on shipping and quality control. So I am offering free pork rinds to anybody that shoots me an email with their shipping address and all I ask is that in return once you get them and try them and eat them and whatnot, there will be a simple questionnaire on the inside and you can just answer those questions for me in, a, in another e email. Uh, let me know, good, bad, and different, what you thought about them, you know, with quality, how was the packing, the shipping, the taste, the flavor greasiness, stale, crispy, all that good stuff. So, um, without further ado, I think I'm ready to go. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off there, because I know it's a 350. It's set. I've got my big strainer basket. I don't have the oil very high at all, because there's no need to, and you'll see why here in a second. So, I'm just going to take a good handful. Now, I've got little sample bags I'm going to be sending everybody, but I also have larger bags as well, and eventually, again, they will be for sale. But... I'm just gonna throw these right down in there. Kind of spread them out. Doesn't look like a whole lot, does it? What do you think, Trader Hog? Mrs. Trader Hog look pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right. You'll be amazed at how long these take. All I'm gonna do, drop them in. And watch the magic happen. Roughly about one minute is all it takes. The key is to get them to continuously, because they cook so quick, covered in oil. So you have to do a lot of moving around, because if you let them just sit there and try to expand on their own, they won't. They'll lock up and they stop cooking. Now this new shipment I got in, I've ordered the, the biggest, nicest ones you can get, which are the Super Jumbos, like that. However, they did send me some that are a little bit smaller, so that's why if you were used to these or have seen them before, 
they do look a little bit smaller. They're the exact same thing, they just cut a little bit smaller, which the good news is more fit into a bag. Once you start seeing all the dark spots really go away, they're pretty much done. What I'll do, what I like to do when I'm seasoning them, is get them out of the oil pretty quick, give them a good drain, okay, just because you don't want a lot of excess oil in there. Get them dumped in. And while they're still a little wet, because they will stay wet for just a little bit, you hear that popping? Mm, can't beat it. Still a little cinnamon sugar. Now they're still wet, so they'll soak that in. Give them just a little bit of a mix. Like that. And there you have it. Roses, razor rinds. I mean, look at that. You ever see a pork kind that big? And these things just melt in your mouth. Just, they're just incredible. You can eat it. Mm. Just like that. Amazing. So, if you're interested and you want to help me out, make sure check out the description down below. Um, send me your address. I'll shoot you some. I'm going to list all the flavors I have available. The main one that we love so much is the white cheddar. I don't have any of that right now. I'm going to be getting some. So if I get it before I'm ready to ship out, I'll list that as an option. Probably not though. It's probably going to be something along these lines. Regular, spicy, sweet, ranch, or savory, okay? Um, regular or salty. Um, yeah, shoot me an email with your address. Um, and I will, and what you want, if you want a couple different flavors, that's totally fine. I'll send you a couple sample bags of each one. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, just leave it in the comments below. Shoot me an email. If you want to do that as well, I'll be happy to answer anything I can. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, let, uh, to get these out to you and uh, let you guys try them out. So we'll be seeing you guys soon. Thanks again. Bye.